Hello there! Let's compute a derivative involving a square root. So we want to compute the derivative d over dx of the square root of x plus 3. To do this, we're going to use the limit definition of the derivative. So this is equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of a bunch of stuff all over h. And what is it? Well, it's going to be the square root of x plus h plus 3 minus the square root of x plus 3. This comes from the limit definition of the derivative. But what do we do with this? Because look, in this limit, the denominator is going to 0. What's the numerator doing? Well, let's see. The numerator, uh, well, the numerator is going to 0 too. So uh, we have a limit of a fraction where the numerator and the denominator are going to 0. Somehow we have to be able to simplify this. At this point, we need to use a trick. We need to multiply by the conjugate. So we're going to multiply by the conjugate of the numerator over itself. And so we're going to get that this is equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of something over h, the square root of x plus h plus 3 minus the square root of x plus 3. And now we're going to multiply by the conjugate over itself. So here we go, times. And all you do is you just change the sign here. To, uh, if it's negative, change it to positive. If it's positive, change it to negative. So we're going to have the square root of x plus h plus 3 plus the square root of x plus 3. And here we're going to have the same thing, the square root of x plus h plus 3 plus the square root of x plus 3. And so now we have to uh, simplify this. Well, look. The, this is really the same way the difference of two squares factors. And so our next line is actually fairly easy. Um, we'll start with the easiest part first. Uh, the denominator. So this is h times the square root of x plus h plus 3 plus the square root of x plus 3. And now, so like I said, this is how the difference of two squares factors. So the first term is going to be the square of this term. Well, it's, we're taking the square root, so that's really easy. It's x plus h plus 3, and it's the difference of two squares minus, and then we square this term, x plus 3. Aha. So now, what happens here? Well, now we simplify the top, the numerator. So we get this is equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of, well, these x's are going to cancel and these 3's are going to cancel. h over h times the square root of x plus h plus 3 plus the square root of x plus 3. And so the h's will cancel because we're taking the limit as h goes to 0. That means that h is not equal to 0. And finally, we, can, we have the limit as h goes to 0 of 1 over the square root of x plus h plus 3 plus the square root of x plus 3. And since plugging in 0 for h does not make the denominator 0, we can simply plug in 0 for h. And we get this is equal to 1 over 2 times the square root of x plus 3. So we've done a lot of work. But, but what does this even mean? So in this problem, we were computing the derivative with respect to x of the square root of x plus 3. And we found from our work that this is equal to 1 over 2 times the square root of x plus 3. Well, what does this mean? Well, this is a formula for the slope of the tangent line at different, for different values of x. And let's look, at the, let's look at a picture of the curve. Here we go. And so as x becomes, this is the curve, look, as x becomes very large, 
you can see the curve kind of levels out more and more. That means that the slope of the tangent line is getting closer and closer to zero. And if we think about it, that agrees with uh, what our formula is showing us here. So this all, this all makes sense. So we've computed a derivative involving a square root, and we checked to make sure that our answer makes sense. Time to do some more math.